in Re Debs, 1895. In 1894, Eugene Debs was the president of the American Railway Union. He led the members of the union to strike against the Pullman Company of Chicago, Illinois. The strike paralyzed all rail traffic west of the Mississippi River. Because of this, the union stopped interstate commerce and interfered with mail delivery. The Pullman Company secured a federal injunction ordering Debs to cease and desist. It was the first federal injunction of a labor union in American history. When Debs and other union leaders refused to obey the court order, they were arrested and convicted of contempt of court. Debs appealed his conviction all the way to the U.S. Supreme Court. In a unanimous decision, the Supreme Court ruled that the federal government has the power to prevent forcible obstruction by unions of both interstate commerce and mail delivery. The court ruled that the federal government has a responsibility to, quote, ensure the general welfare of the public, unquote. 